So, here we go. Right, this is part two of the small room which has been revamped. Oh, it was about a year ago that I did a, a video I put on YouTube, but um, I've just uh, redesigned the room a little bit, put some new um, display units in which are quite good. Um, and got rid of some of the earthquake ones that got thrown around. Um, just panning on the back of the door, there's a, a large um, <coughs> stand-up figure of Aragorn out of Lord of the Rings. And on the back of it, there's a lot of Mattel Hot Wheels um, model, models, die-cast model vehicles. Um, there's also some Corgi Rocket, um, a Minton bag, Corgi Rockets, part of the track series for the little uh, rocket cars to run around on. Um, I'll just come across to this wall here and it's um, a lot of Hollywood on wheels uh, items up at top um, <coughs> from uh, around about 15 years ago they, these were put out um, there's a monkey mobile uh, back to the future car even um, and one from the uh, police car from Andy Griffith's show in, in the early 60s, mid 60s. Dragnet. I'll just pan down. It's the Hot Wheels uh, display here. The, these are a lot of treasure hunts from the early 70s, early to mid 70s. Uh, I've been collecting a lot of uh, Mattel Hot Wheels uh, TV movie related items, and of course that includes Batman. I'm just panning down to all the different Batmobiles that they've put out over the last 10 or so years so this is all displayed on a wall, all pinned to a wall there's a nice eight, uh, series of 8 Carter Batman uh, <coughs> item models that are uh, it's a set of 8 which are all numbered 1 to 8 on the back the cards, there's some some short carded bat, uh, 66 Batmobile, which they were quite hard, quite hard to find now. Some old Mattel Hot Wheel uh, construction vehicles from the around about 1986. They were issued. I'll just pan down. Here a little bit. Some Matchbox military uh, twin packs. There's even uh, Foldy Towers. John Cleese. It's a carded little more little uh, car that he uh, beat to death with a tree. <laughs> But anyway, I'll just pan down the bottom here. Um, but it, we've got quite a bit to get through. So on, on this wall of, here, we've got the Days Gone unit displaying um, the first issue, Days Gone models that Jack O'Dell did. He was a founder member of Matchbox back in the 1950s, and he created his own series called Lido back in 1983. So I've got um, a small collection of Lidos. There's some airfix car kits down the bottom here, which are quite rare now. They're quite hard to find. Uh, just burning across there. So on we go to... I've got a matchbox models of yesteryear cabinet here. It's holding around about 600 models. And this unit got thrown down in the quakes. So I'll just quickly pan across. It's from Y1 down the bottom. It's organised pretty well from the y Y1 number auction traction engine right up to about Y50 um, these got knocked around quite a bit in the quakes but I put down um, double stick matting on the shelves to stop them moving around so I just uh, quickly pan there's about 12 shelves falls all together and there's also a lot of variations that I clicked on the standard model which are quite rare within themselves. Some matchbox king size and super kings down the bottom here. I'll just pan across slowly, hoping not to disturb the pictures too much. I'm just going across to this uh, there's a wardrobe unit that I, I took the doors out and converted into a shelving unit and it's got some board games at the top there. Also I got a lot of um, circus models, chipper fields, Pinda Circus etc. Um, <coughs> These got uh, thrown around a bit, but I've reorganised it and put down the sticky matting and this stabilised pretty well. Pinned a circus set in the back there, 
Magic Roundabout, very rare Corgi set. They can sell them in the figure of uh, four figures. Um, so that's the Magic Roundabout uh, set out on display, loose box in the background, train. And there's uh, a Magic Roundabout set up in the back here, which a friend of mine designed up. Um, he cast all the figures and roundabout and I painted everything up so that looks quite spectacular I think the trees just as it was in the television program the Helter Skelter down below shelf here there's uh, Fiber XL5 from 1963 it's MPC model which are quite rare now and I think basically they're only available in the United States um, there's, a, uh, there's a Rosenthal J Rosenthal J21 um, 0X radio control unit in the background there which was in Thunderbirds Thunderbirds movie and they were um, quite scarce and that, that one actually works batteries work and it run, can run along the ground so down here I've got a, a Corgi it's um, Corgi Kits um, the racing Silverstone Silverstone racing, racing car Formula 1 series from the early to mid 1960s, or I think they were deleted about 1972. Some of the cars, I just made up a little display here with buildings that I brought off. Um, original Corgi kits made up from Trade Me, brought off Trade Me. There's some of the <coughs> box figure sets of um, the uh, personnel that go with uh, the Silverstone set, including spectators and mechanics and pit crews and um, <coughs> also um, there's other ones as well like um, the race officials etc so I'm just moving away from here I'm just going to go got a few things on the floor here just going to go into another cabinet all the Corgi classic TV movie um, items I've been collecting they're all mint boxed and pretty good condition so they're hard to find uh, in that in that line so uh, I've just been concentrating these uh, on these over the last 10 years or so and there's some Corgi Juniors on the wall um, so long we go there's a few others there Chitty Chitty Bang Bang they're always popular there's a shelf here with um, a lot of Chipperfield Circus models that Corgi Ranger put out in the early 1960s very very collectible now and getting quite expensive to buy and some other Corgi cool items down there got some more in this open shelving unit display some um, some of the uh, ones Mr Bean and ones out of the um, Muppet show so anyway I'm just going to pan up on the ceiling here because I've got a lot of Hot Wheels up on the ceiling, but I'm not sure how these are going to film. I'm just going to go across. Probably going to hit the light. So away we go. Uh, I'm just they're quite tricky to put up. Put up there, but not as bad as the uh, place we were in St Albans Street. It was uh, the roof was three metres high, so this is only 2.4 or uh, eight feet. The other place was 10 feet. In American terms, 10, f 10 feet studs. Uh, so that's, there's probably several hundred up there. I'm just coming into a, a cabinet here where it's got some plastic model army vehicles and that from the Arab Israeli, uh, Arab Israeli wars between 1948 and 73. It's some I used to concentrate on those back in the 70s and 80s, but I don't build them up anymore. I just collect them in the boxes now. So we've had nine minutes, so I may have to stop this and do another one. Um, this is this is a unit that's got some tracks holding cars and vans in, and there's also um, some trying trying plastic vehicles there. Some you know uh, they're actually the <coughs> speed speed car record cars that are made a lot of records over the years, Donald Campbell etc. Some Corgi TV movie items there. Um, it's a Corgi um, 
comics range that came out in the early 90s and there's some Polistool uh, Mickey Mouse and the Big Bad Wolf I think I'll cut this out in a minute um, because I may have gone over time 10 minutes so this is uh, some of the Dink Dinky Atlas models here so I'm going to do another part for this room I'll do part 1 and part 2 ok we'll be back soon I'll just